been a little while. I don't know, I wasn't going to do a video today, but I, I happened to look at the clock because I, I left work and I had to drive to another city, which it's, it's close, but I had to drive to another city to get medicine and come home. And I thought it was later than what it actually is because it's dark early now because of the time change. I got in and I just don't feel well and I haven't felt well since my, my heart diagnosis, I guess. There's kind of something different that's happened last week, probably Thursday. I was at work and all of a sudden I had this incredible chest pain where my heart is. And even when I inhaled deep, I could feel what feels like an inflammation, a burning kind of sensation. And since Thursday till last night, when I lay on my left side, it kind of, I guess, puts pressure in the area where my heart is. And it's uncomfortable, but it's not unbearable. I'm a, I'm a left side sleeper. You kind of adjust to it after a certain length of time, but I mean, it doesn't feel good. And I stretch to the left, or if I inhale really deep, like a heavy sigh kind of thing, you could tell it's kind of sore. Before that happened, in the back of my head, I'm thinking, I, I was irritated because I seen my doctor this past week. I can't remember. You guys know because they put me on heart medicine. But it made me mad that she didn't take my situation seriously. PVCs, I have PAC and PVC, but PVC can cause a lot of damage to your heart your heart muscle, I should say. PVCs are, they're just little demons compared to PACs. If they pump too often, it just wears down that muscle. And you cannot heal your heart muscle. It scars over and it makes that muscle weaker and weaker and it leads to cardiac arrest. On my heart monitor, in a 24 hour period, it, it showed 72 for the 24 hour period. That is 70 too many. <laughs> and I mean, it's a lot. And the nurse practitioner student was concerned. And then when she went out and got my nurse practitioner, she looked concerned. And I'm like, why is it that I was more concerned than my nurse practitioner? I'm not one, I'm not a hypochondriac, the one who, you know, thinks they have all these ailments. I'm a medical assistant who's very aware of her body and the body has always fascinated me. And so I'm reading all the stuff about PVCs and PACs. And that's what a person normally does when they get a diagnosis. They want to learn what it does, how it does, how to improve it, et cetera, et cetera. Well, I didn't know a lot about the heart. I do know and have known that if you mess up your heart muscle, there's no going back. There's no repairing. All these heart issues I've had in the past are on my, my records at, at uh, the hospital. I sound like I had a criminal history when I said they're in my records. And on top of that, you know, I have emailed her with concerns. Oh, it's no big deal. Well, for two weeks, I would count these and at work, I would count to up to 30. Now, mind you, when I get home, I didn't count. When I slept, I didn't count, but it was a lot. And, and I'm not exaggerating. And I still have them. I could feel them at least maybe maximum five times, depending on my mood. And it's crazy because now that I have this issue, when I get mad, when I get um, anxiety, like, you know, not the anxiety as in mental health anxiety, anxiety like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be late for work kind of anxiety. Those really give me those. They never have in the past, never. And my heart just started doing this over time about a week before I got that heart monitor. And usually I would have the double pumping thing 
once a month, once a year, just whenever. It was not really a concern of mine. Here lately, they have got out of hand and something tells me my heart muscle is damaged because of their negligence. And at Friday, I have a, a test. It's a um, echo complete. And what that is is they put electrodes in certain specific places and then they do something similar to an ultrasound while those electrodes are on. And what happens is they monitor my heart chambers, which are the things that are wrong with my heart, my heart. And so the electrodes monitor, I think the pumping maybe, I guess. And then the, the, um, the echo will, it's a visual of what is going on with your chambers. After that, I think I will get another diagnosis. Or at least saying, hey, this is what's wrong. This is what we're gonna do to fix it. I will not have surgery. I, I don't want anything invasive at all. And I, I know if there's heart damage, my valves or muscles, whatever you wanna call it, that it's just going to have to be. There's no repairing that. Um, I don't know if I said this in any of my videos that my mother's mom, um, my grandmother, she had heart pain, I think it was, I might be off, up to a week before she went to the doctor. And they told her, you let this go on for far too long, your heart muscle is damaged, there's no turning back, and she died shortly after that. It wasn't long after that at all. And something tells me that's where I'm headed. Saying that out loud, you know, it, it sounds like that I know that's what's going on. I just have a feeling if it's not damaged now that it will be soon because I really don't want to be on this medicine. I'm on enough medicine. I'm on a lot of medicine. And when they told me that I needed this pill, I'm like, I really just don't want any more medications. But I do know for a fact, without a doubt, that if I stop this medicine, I, I will have a heart attack because of my PVC is really bad messed up, which is, I think the PVC is the lower chamber if I remember right. And I'm not exaggerating when I said it, it's bad. It's really bad. And actually, you know, I've had, I had so many of those a day before my medicine that it was becoming very annoying, very annoying. They were distracting. It felt weird. It felt like a foreign something in your body that just bloomed up and then let go. And there were so many that it was just like, come on, stop, you know, to stop. It was just so annoying. I know you've heard me this, say this in so many videos. I'm just gonna play it one day at a time and see what happens from this day forward. That's all I can say. That's all I can do. I cannot remember when, what I said in my last video about the bed thumping thing. It went on three days. I think I did. I told you about what felt like a weighted blanket on me and the little things, whatever. I haven't had a visit yet. And I am, I don't know if I should say concerned or afraid. I don't know. My visual visits where I can see them have decreased a lot. And that kind of bothers me. It makes me sad. You would think, why would that make you sad? It makes me sad because I know that these beings are my family. I don't know if I just saw an orb or was that dust? I don't know. If you... That was an orb. <laughs> that was an orb. It's like, hello. And so if, if you didn't see it, rewind this. I'll leave it there for you. 
and you'll see it back here and then it came back around so watch for it you'll see it and if you're going to say it's dust well dust doesn't move that fast dust floats okay back on track these beings a lot of them are my family my star family and they are the most positive things that i have in my life because they come and check on me they come and work on my body they come and i guess they try to communicate with me i don't know just seeing them makes me feel so loved and so wanted and i feel like i belong and when they don't come i feel emptiness i hope that makes sense i'm like every person in my life has abandoned me family every everybody every person has abandoned me so i think that with them disappearing or not showing themselves makes me feel that way. Although I know they would never do that or try to make myself believe that, that makes me sad. That's how I feel. I cannot wait to edit this video because I want to see that orb again. That was amazing. I really enjoyed that one because I didn't know if it was and then it came back like, nope, I'm an orb. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to end this. I have to edit it and I'm gonna put it out and I have to jump in the shower. Let me know in the comments below how many of you watch my shorts. I've been doing little shorts and they're nothing important or nothing big. They're just little things that I do that I put out there in hopes to boost the income part of it. I'm an artist and as I said before, I enjoy creating things and my shorts are just that. I create little whatever. And sometimes I put ins inspiring quotes on them. <laughs> Encouraging also. I mean, you could look at it in more than one way. So I'm going to end this here. I love you guys and I miss doing this often. I've just had so much going on. Oh, and by the way, my internet is messed up. Remember I switched from a Cox cable to AT&T AT fiber? Well, I cut off my Cox and come to find out my at and is messed up. And the tech is coming out Friday. So uploading anything on my two monitors right now is a no because that meditation video that I was working on, if I go through here and my plan is to, it's a guided meditation, I'll be talking. So if my internet's cutting off and on, I'm afraid, I don't know for a fact, but I'm afraid that my voice will be cut off here and there, here and there. And you're going to be like, what is she saying? <laughs> I don't know if that ex will actually happen or not, but I feel that it will. And that's a lot of work. I don't want to chance it. So don't think that I gave that up yet because I still will be doing it. I'll be picking that back up Saturday. So now for now. So for now. Oh my gosh. So now I'm actually going to end this video. I love you guys. Let me know in the comments what you think about my shorts. And I'm sending you love, light, and peace. Bye.